Welcome to Rising Moon Tai Chi Online School. After the warm-up, we're having a look at silk reeling and how it relates to the postures in the forms. Loosening up the muscles, the tendons, the joints, and relax. And to the centre. And massaging hands and light fists, lower back. Always work at your level, of course. Listen to your body. If there's something it doesn't like doing, please modify. And shaking out. Silk reeling. Feet as wide as you feel comfortable. It can go wider if you feel comfortable with that. Feet facing directly forward or they can be turned out slightly. The important thing is when we shift weight, we don't collapse the knee. So when we shift weight, we're opening the qua and opening the qua. So everything is staying stable and strong. Silk reeling, we'll have a look at stand like a tree first because it's all related. So stand like a tree is like this. We can sink down as far as comfortable but not looking like this. So that's easy, but that's not correct. Not looking like this. As you can see, I'm totally out of balance. So when we sink, the knees still in line with the feet, they're not too far forward. And it's as if we're sitting on a chair that's been pushed away, just on the edge of a chair. The feet, the outside of the feet are more on the floor than the rest of the foot, if that makes sense. Whole foot's on the floor. Stand like a tree can also be like this. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Silk reeling, turn, open the qua. Turn and shift weight. Open and turn. Open meaning we're not doing things like this. We know where our knees are in relation to the feet. Soften the back. Soften the shoulders. For our stand like a tree movement, here and here. The arms aren't moving, but they are turning because the body's turning. Qua is opened each time we shift weight. One more and to the center and down and stepping in. Putting those principles into the Tai Chi form when we are in a right bow stance for part wild horse's mane. The first movement when we go into our next part wild horse's mane is that silk reeling type movement. So we do our silk reeling in bow stance even with the arms, very subtle. If we were to step forward this shape stays the same, whole foot down, bottom arm and leg come up and 
part wild horse's mane. Then we can go on the other side with our silk reeling type exercise. And now we're understanding the transitions in the postures and how when we shift weight back, we always open that quad and that means the hips turn slightly. In Tai Chi stepping, slight turn and then we move in the direction we intend to go. Slight turn and then the direction that we want to go. Putting all the bits and pieces together from standing like a tree, silk reeling and then into those postures of the Tai Chi form, I think really helps us to understand why we do the basics and how then we can interpret those in all the Tai Chi forms. I hope you enjoyed that session of Stand Like a Tree, Silk Reeling and the relationship they have with the postures in the Tai Chi forms.